Hi everyone, welcome back to Hot Water with Zen. Today, let's make the Middle Eastern falafel in a very simple way. For this, you will have to soak the chickpeas overnight and drain the water at least 30 minutes before we grind them. Uh, take some coriander leaves, one onion chopped, few garlic cloves. If you like the flavor of garlic, you can add more and two green chilies. If you want it to be more spicy, you can add more green chilies. And the next one is the most important ingredient, coriander seeds. Dry roast the coriander seeds, crush them and keep them ready. I'm using a small blender jar. You can choose to use whatever you wish. I'm using this because it's quicker to grind. So first add all the ingredients like green chilies, onions, garlic and the coriander. Along with these add few chickpeas to maintain a consistency. You can see that it is not completely smooth but a little coarse. Now let's grind the chickpeas. Do not add any water when you grind chickpeas. Even without water, it would come in a perfect consistency. It should look sticky, not runny. You don't have to grind it smooth. It has to be a little coarse. Add the crushed coriander seeds and grind it along with the chickpeas. Once ready, add half a teaspoon of cumin powder, some salt, and a pinch of baking soda. You can add black pepper and lemon if you want. I'm not adding them today. Mix them all well and this is how you should be able to hold the shape. You can shape them as you like, round, oval, flat, but I always choose to cook them flat because it cooks faster and it cooks through well. It's always safe to do a taste test before we fry in huge batches. The salt was actually very less, so I had to add more. As already mentioned, I'm going to flatten my falafels today. So I'm just using my fingers to flatten them. Make sure they are a little thick, otherwise they will turn out very crispy. Make sure to keep the stove on sim when you drop the falafels. Once done, increase the flame from medium to high. Flip them from time to time and let them cook evenly. Your falafel is perfectly cooked only if the middle portion looks crispy. If it looks soggy, you have to cook it more. These falafels have cooked through and they have turned out so crispy and perfectly golden brown. The similar way I fried the remaining falafels in two batches. Falafel is always incomplete without rice, so I quickly made some homemade rice. So that was our quick and relaxing dinner for that day. So every time you make falafel, do not forget to make french fries and some black tea with mint. Thank you all for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please do try it and let us know how it was in the comment section.
I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. And every time you step out of the house, do not forget to wear your mask and if possible, gloves too.